Hello everyone! Hope you didn't miss me too much yesterday, how was it? A whole day without Kakujo. I mean, I guess that's a stupid question. You, some of you did endure seven months without me just recently. If my energy's weird today, it's because I, I sacrificed sleep so I could play Monster Hunter and I have four hours of sleep. It's weird though, because I feel fine, which is normally not the case. I, I assume at some point in this day, I'm just going to turn into a puddle. I, I don't know, this, this is very abnormal. Normally I'm like, you know, just groggy and grumpy the whole day, but I woke up today and I was like, ha, huh, sure, yeah, let, let's just do four hours of sleep. Why was I sacrificing sleep on a day that I was supposed to be having a day off? Well, let me just walk you through what the heck happened. It's a day like most days. I get up, I do my bit, the girls are at home. I don't care, I'm just gonna play video games all day. I play for a couple hours, you know, it's nice, I can't complain, a decent session, you know? But then, turns out my girlfriend is in a really, really bad mood. So bad that it's scaring me a bit and Lily a bit and so I'm like, okay, Lily, you know what? It's fine. Everyone has bad days. It's cool We just need to learn to separate ourselves or for them to separate themselves from us That's a part of a human existence a part of well animal existence really so I clean my filthy Gaming all day self up and we go to an open-air market and I bought the stupidest thing. I'm like I gotta show you It is the it is the dumbest thing you're gonna think it's so stupid I bought a- I bought a wooden knife for thirty dollars. Why did I do- why did I do that? I can't afford thirty dollar knives right now! I don't know, I walked by the guy and he was like- He makes regular knives too, but these are like his cheaper ones, and he's like, these are great for cheese boards, and I was like, cheese boards? I- I love cheese boards. He had the whole deal, he had like the scruffy beard and like his hair long and pulled back into a bun, and he was wearing the apron, and he was so nice, he had glasses, he's the whole picture, you know? He could have just been faking it till he was making it, but god dang it, it worked on me, and I'm- I'm terrible about this kind of stuff. This is why I normally don't go to, like, flea markets or open markets, because I always buy something dumb. This is a bamboo $30 knife. I gotta maintain this thing. I can't even throw it in the dishwasher! I gotta, like, sandpaper it and rub it with stupid mineral oil. I can't believe I did that. I mean, Lily was excited about it, though, because she was like, Yay, I love cheese boards! And that was- that was cool. On the way there, though, I had to call the freaking cops because Lily and I took public transit because I was like, I ain't taking the car into the city. I hate parking. I hate dealing with driving in the city. It's a, a it's a confusing, overwhelming mess. So we took a bus and then we took a train. But uh, while waiting for the train, there are these trashy people having a trashy argument like down at the other end of the train platform, right? And I'm like, okay, it's fine. It's cool. They're staying over there. We're over here, it's all good. There's like these two ladies that screaming at each other and one of them starts walking away and the one who's staying is like, you know, stop lying, Tammy! You're such a liar! Get your life figured out, Tammy! And so then the lady who stayed and her boyfriend start walking over to our side of the platform and I'm like, oh man, don't come over here. And as they pass by, as the lady approaches me and I'm like, I get Lily behind me and I'm like, oh God, here we go. And she goes, sorry about that. So sorry, sorry I had to see that. She was, you know, had some beef, but it had nothing to do with us, and she acknowledged that. I, I, st I still consider that a decent person in my book. So all's well does that end well, but wait! The liar, Tammy, she came back with her uh, her boyfriend or something, and the guy was looking pissed. I'm sorry, is that too intense a word? Is this- a, I can't tell if this is a family channel or not. Some days I, I wonder. But he's mad. He comes over, he's staring daggers at the other lady's boyfriend, and they're passing us, and I got Lily, like, over here behind me, and Lily is starting to just kind of, like, get a little upset, a little worried, right? I see the way they're prowling. I've seen this before. I'm just like, again, Normally, I feel like I would just mind my own business or even if I were feeling bold enough step in and be like guys Can we please calm down? <sighs> I'd have to be in a mood to do that frankly because there's always that risk versus reward with those kinds of things But I had Lily with me and she was getting scared So I was like all right I'm gonna I'm gonna wait like five more seconds if this gets any worse I'm just gonna call the police because I just I I'm not having this right now Okay, not not with my kid like literally three feet away from them the liar Tammy begins yelling at the first lady who stayed and walked away and then came over to us and apologized and went along her way and she starts trying to punch her in the neck while the guy's like trying to get up in the other dude's face. So I'm like, okay. So I call 911 and I wait forever for an answering service to tell me how to actually like get through. I, I kind of figured that when you dialed 911, uh, that was your way of telling them that you want to talk to the 911 people. But no, you call them and then they're like, if you would like to talk to someone, press any button. And I'm like, what? It was okay. So why don't you just make the number 911? Okay, just save us some time and trouble. If you're gonna do four numbers, just make- just tell me outright so I don't have- Don't be like, okay, now another number. Alright, now another number there. Now you made a whole seven-digit phone number. Like, they must just- that's just insulting to my intelligence. <coughs> 
Anyway, finally get a lady on the phone. She asks me 50 questions. I can tell immediately that she's not taking this seriously as something that they really want to send someone out for because she's not immediately being like, okay, someone's on the way. She's like, she's asking me 50 questions about the descriptions of the people. No, it's not good. It was a bad, no. You sociopath. Learn appropriate responses to social situations. So the lady's asking me 50 questions about it, asking me to describe both parties. So I know, right, the story's getting worse and worse as we go along. 911 pretty much ruins it. I have actually not had a good, like, experience with Portland's 911 ever. It's always been super slow, and by the time you finally get anywhere with them, everything's already over with. And that's what happened here! Thanks again, Portland 911! Because our train came in, we got on the train, the first lady, who was like, you know, saying sorry, she got on the train with us, and then liar Tammy kept sticking her head in screaming, and then I was like, okay, well, they're separating now, and, you know, no one seems to be bleeding, and the lady's like, oh, okay, well, if anything else happens, you know, give us a call back and let us know, and I'm like, well, okay, thanks a lot. So the train door goes to close, and I'm like, well, at least now I'm only stuck with one volatile person, you know, and at least this person apologized to me, but then liar Tammy slams on the emergency door open, walks in, and says, excuse me to me. I turn and I'm like, God dang it. God, what is it? Why me? There are literally 20 other people on this train. Why? Why do you want to talk to me? You gotta lock eyes, man, because this is one of those moments, right? You gotta lock eyes. You gotta be ready. And she goes, I'm so sorry that that happened. And I'm like, what? 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 She's like putting her hands together like, I'm so sorry that 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 got out of hand. And I'm like, I just look at her and I said, well, thank you. And then she walks away, and I'm just like, oh my, what? Like, it just really goes to show you, like, you don't get that kind of courtesy and kindness from people who you wouldn't describe as trashy. So I feel bad describing them as trashy because that has certain implications, but really at the end of it, they had a beef, but they also had manner. There's a lesson to be learned there. Like, obviously, in the first place, you shouldn't be fighting, especially not around, like, you know, people and kids and stuff like that. But at the same time, yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten that kind of courtesy from people well-dressed and just treating each other like crap. So, yeah. Kind of learned something there today. I'm, I couldn't tell you what it is. I've only slept for four hours. Give me a break. And guess who the entire time was just not doing anything? That's right. The sea lion prince himself. Master of marching fishes, Gerald. He loves to bounce. He is an insulator. He is a lightning rod for all tense situations. In fact, if he hadn't been there, I'm not sure if we would have survived. I'm not sure they would have apologized. And then I would have just walked away from that situation feeling so badly toward those ladies. And what a what, what a travesty that would have been, eh, Gerald? I'm, I'm really stretching here, buddy. So that and the fact that I came back to find that my main client had actually sent me a video project those two things combined, that's why, that's why I didn't get a day off. And that's why I ended up staying up until 2 in the morning, because I was defiant. I was like, no! This is my day off! How long was that? Like, like, eight, nine minutes? You've been waiting this entire time, probably, for me to talk about the Digimon. I'm sorry, but we got three new Digimon today. Not new partners, before we get too excited about that. We got new evolutions. So let me run you through what we have here. Tentomon achieved Kabuterimon status. Gatomon achieved ultimate status, and Agumon achieved ultimate status. Metal Greymon, look at that beefy boy, he's looking good. This is good though, because we're gonna get to fight here in 140 steps. I, I actually stopped this thing at 250 because I was like, I know between the living room and here and getting everything set up, I'm gonna end up accidentally running down 100 steps. I actually ran down 110, so you know. Oh, this thing's so sensitive. Oh, who is it? What? Metal? Seedramon, oh yes, it is time. So, we can't warp Digivolve exactly because we only have ultimate status, so this is going to be a long turtle's climb, a tortoise's climb at that, to get to the next stage. Okay, so this evolution animation is so cool. Oh, wait, thumb's not in the right place. Oh, come on, thumb. Thumb, oh, phew. So this is just regular old Greymon. Nice little Giga Blast there. Oh, so Nico Redflame was telling us um, he is a, a D2 version 15th of the first version of it. Uh, owner, and he was saying that, yeah, the animation change for uh, Greymon, for Agumon to Greymon was not there. Let's see if this one's different, though. Okay, spinning, spinning around. We get we get like a nice uh, three quarters view of um, of Metal Greymon there. That was nice. Oh, look at that. 
that always weirded me out. Every time I see Metal Greymon's uh, missile attack, like his organic smiling f with a face on it missile, I'm like, what is that? That's gotta be a Digimon. There's gotta be some kind of like symbiotic Digimon relationship there. Kind of like uh, Pokemon, like with Mantine, with the, with, with the Stingray one and the little Remoray, the little fish. Like, what up? Why doesn't that, why isn't that just a straight up Digimon? Look at me over here talking about Pokemon while a, a fight just happened. It's fine, it was just a metal sea snake. But good job, Metal Greymon slash Agumon. What's next? What? Did I beat everything? Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, okay, so for some reason it decided to, uh, in a decision that I find very, very misleading, uh, all of them flashed X, but now, yeah, only this one is, is done. Once, once we clear all of these, good things will happen and we're on our way to this one. How many steps? Is it 12,000 again? Nasty. And here I was saying 10,000 was like my limit. And now I'm saying 12,000 is my limit, okay? And probably here in another map, 14,000 is gonna be my limit. But any higher than that, and I'm gonna, we're gonna have a problem. I wanna show you Anjouamon's fight because I haven't seen it myself. I have not seen Kabuterimon. I have not seen Anjouamon's attack and I want to know what they are. I want to know if it's Celestial Arrow, as she often is, is known to do. Uh, Andrew Woman, not Kabuterimon. But yeah, we can at least look at them, right? I did say I was going to objectify her and... Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, it's... There's not a lot of pixels to objectify, though. There's, uh... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, look at that leg, though! <laughs> it doesn't change in width once <laughs> She's got Dr. Robotnik legs. <laughs> oh, she's like mad at me. She's like, stop making fun of my sexy form. You know, I did say last video that we would wa want to put some some goofs in here because we got a lot of serious stuff going on, and I think today we're going to draw Soda Das Creamy suggestion, which was draw Gerald fighting a Gomapon. Oh my lord. I am very worried about how this will turn out because I'm not very well versed in action sequences, but well, you can tell what's going on, right? Uh, here, and firstly, I'm going to draw uh, the arm slashy motions because some of the parts over here with Gomamon are actually going to be gone. So here we go. And up, oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so god dang nervous. I'm gonna draw some curves around because we're going to have this like be incredible clashes of energy and power. Oh, oh. Oh no! Can you see this? Oh, maybe you could see it for a second there. Freeze frame! The nib is actually like gone. It's it's barely poking out. I'm going to stop talking about how it's my pen's fault that things are happening, but it kinda is right now. Should probably just bite the bullet and go buy some more microns. I can afford it now thanks to the Patreons. The pa the Patreons? You're like a race from the planet Patron. I'm gonna turn it sideways and do sideways hatching this way because it just makes it look better. So now it's time to erase. So there you have it. Uh, a little rough, but uh, it is what it is. It's a four, a four hour sleep drawing. I'm just gonna keep blaming all of my shortcomings today on the fact that I didn't get much sleep. So I'm sure you noticed I didn't say anything about health waves, and that's because I didn't actually get any health waves. I wanted to do the boss fight with you guys, and I focused on, you know, dig having our Digimon digivolve. So next health wave, hopefully we'll get a new Digimon. I mean, what, what else is there, right? There's no other Digimon to get. Is th I've gotten all of them. I'm pretty sure, but we'll see. We'll see what the health wave surprises us with. Maybe we'll get Meikumon or Zubamon, or, well, I mean, Wizardmon wasn't on the box, so uh, there might be other Digimon partners to collect. Who knows? So hopefully we'll see that tomorrow. Thanks for coming by. Have a good one.